Hey guys, Rich from Rich Big Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. Welcome to this Another Lorcana video and welcome to my first ever deck building and gameplay video. And I've been wanting to do this for a little while uh, and sort of getting to the deck building side of it, getting to the gaming side of it. I've been playing now for quite a couple of uh, maybe maybe two or three weeks uh, quite intensively. I played quite a lot of games over on Pixelborn. Managed to get a couple of games in person as well so now just have a much much better understanding of the game and just felt that a little bit more confident to be able to put together some decks for you guys and where I wanted to start and this is going to be the first of a three part or I suppose a six part series um, where we take a look at the starter decks and in particular in this video we're going to be looking at the Amethyst Steel starter deck from Rise of the Floodborn. Um, and the whole premise of this is you've gone out, you've bought your deck, you've got all of the cards that it lists along the side there. But whilst there's some good cards in here and you kind of get an idea of what the deck is wanting you to do, uh, it is, or there are a few cards in there that just seem a little bit lackluster. So in this first video, we're going to be taking a $10 budget, yes, only $10, uh, making some changes to this deck and just trying to make it as competitive as we can get uh, and synergizing with some of the uh, tech and some of the tools that come in the box itself. So let's jump over and take a look at what we actually get in the box. And a quick reminder guys to stick around until the very end of the video where you'll be able to find out how you can win yourselves one of these amazing, really, really nice beast playmats. We'll ship anywhere in the world and it'll be an early Christmas present for you. So hang around to the end of the video and you can find out how you can be with a chance to win yourselves one of these. Okay guys, so here is everything that we get in the Amethyst Steel starter deck and the thing that sort of pops out to me is the fact that this really wants to be a bounce deck with the Merlin cards, with Madame Mim, we've got some other really nice cards in there like the Prince, he's an absolutely amazing bodyguard. But then we've got these other cards that just don't synergize well at all. So we've got Tiana, Diligent Waitress. We've got Hercules, Hero in Training. We've got Ellie LaBeouf. And they're just stat cards. They're not giving us anything at all. Then if we look at the actions and the items, I'm Stuck and Freeze are not great. Last Cannon is not very good at all. Mouse Armor can be okay in certain situations, but again, doesn't really synergize with, with what we are trying to do. Um, so what we're going to do is jump in, edit this, take out all the cards um, that we have uh, that we don't want, that don't really synergize with what we're doing, and lean into that bounce of Madame Mim. So Madame Mim, when you play this character, banish her or return another chosen character of yours into your hand. So we get to use Madame Mim to bounce cards. And then we've got cards like Merlin the Goat. When you play this character and he leaves play, gain one law. So the idea here is we play Merlin the Goat, he gains us one law. Then with the next turn, we can quest with him, which will give us another law. Then we can use a Madam Mim to banish him again, which puts him back in our hand. Um, sorry, not banish him, but return him to our hand. Um, and that will give us one more law. And we can do that again. So we're maximizing the value that we're getting. We're also, we can also use it to protect certain cards as well. Now, we only have a a $10 budget, as I mentioned, for this one. So we're starting out at $13.25. So that means that we can use, we're going to have $23.25 to play with. Let me make a note of that here uh, so I don't forget. So $23.25 is the maximum that we can spend. Um, and we'll obviously get some dollars back because we're going to take some of these cards out. Uh, but let's jump over. Let's go to edit and let's take out all of these cards that we don't want. So Tiana isn't really adding any value for us. Cuzco is just not a great card. Um, Hercules, once again, no great stats. Prince Eric, not great for us. Huntsman, not really doing much work for us there. Benja, I do quite like. Lawrence, we're going to keep in. Lilo, the galactic hero. She goes... Prince Naveen, the Pedalus Royal, again, he's just stats. 
Um, Dr. Facilier we're going to take out as well. Um, Beast's an interesting one. Uh, he does one damage on entry. He's a four cost. He's a three four. He's inkable. We'll keep him in there for the moment. We may we may choose to take him out. Uh, Ellie Labouf is going to go. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep Kronk in there for the moment, but then we are going to get rid of all of these actions and all of these item cards as well. So we've gone down to ten dollars and 17 cents and if my quick math uh, can help me out here i.e my calculator we started off with a budget of 23.25 could be the maximum minus 10.17 so we've now got 13 dollars and eight cents to spend so let's go over to our filters uh, let's put in amethyst and let's put in steel and let's see the types of cards that we want to get. Um, well, first of all, the first thing I want to do, because I think he's just such a good card, is I want to boost up Lawrence to four. And I also want to boost the Prince up from two to four as well. Uh, are there any others in here? I think Madame Mim Snake, we maximize out on her. Um, it may be that we do get rid of some of these other cards as well as we as we go through. But let's take a look at the other cards that we can indeed go for. And I'm going to sort these by, uh, not by colour, but by their cost of low to high. There we go. Um, okay, I mean, Maleficent's a really nice card, uh, but not really affordable right now. So it may be a card that we... That we can come back for. Pascal is not a bad choice uh, to give us to give us some extra one cost. He's inkable as well. Um, oh, sorry, let's just take that out for the moment. Uh, he is inkable as well, um, which which is good. And he does have evasive, so we could get some potential value out of him. So we can potentially quest with him a couple of times. Early doors, there's not going to be much that can take him out. And then we can use a Madame Mim to bring him back and ink him. So he could definitely be a card that we go for. Um, let's have a quick look here. I mean, we'd love Pinocchio, uh, who has actually come down in price a little bit. Um, sort of six six dollars here for the for the non-foil version. Uh, but six dollars is a big, big chunk. Um, and we can't really afford that. The other thing I want to add into my deck is some. Uh, some drawing ability as well. Uh, I do like Robin Hood. He's he's really good actually. He's non inkable, but he is very very good being able to deal one damage rather than actually having to um, challenge, which means that he can um, damage evasive characters, but he can also damage without actually taking damage himself. So he may be a card that we put in there as well. We'd like some more of these Madam Mim cards, but they they do get quite expensive um friends on the other side is pretty good for card drawing in fact i think we are going to put start and, and put a couple of friends on the other side in there because that's going to be really really good for our drawing um what else have we got in here peter pan shadow um he is evasive he does have rush and other characters with Rush gain evasive as well. Not really synergizing with what we want to go for. There is an argument here as well to say we take Merlin out. Because we're not going to be able to maximize that bounce play with the, with the value that we've got. Um, let's keep scrolling down. Let's take a quick look. I mean, cards like a whole new world and things that we would normally put in. Uh, yeah, they're just a little bit out of our, uh, our 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 budget here. We could go with a beast. Uh, he is coming in at one dollars fifty five, but I really really do like beast. Um, in fact, let's put let's put a couple of him in there. I think he could be quite good. Beast synergizing with um, with the prince could be really really nice because they have to attack the prince. Uh, but Beast is going to take that damage. It keeps him in there for much, much longer. I mean, we'd love to put some Madam Mims in here 
Uh, but yeah, alas, it is it is not to be. Okay, so that's the end of our card. So let's go through, let's take another look then. So right now we have 40 cards, so we need to find 20 cards extra to, to help us out. Strength of Raging Fire is pretty nice as well. We've already maxed out on Lawrence. Um, I don't think we need to max out on Benja. Actually, do you know what? He can he can he he can quest for two as well, so that's really nice. Um, I think we're going to bring some Maleficence in. She's a three cost, but it does let us draw a card, so it's going to keep that uh, keep that card draw up, which again is something that I really struggled with when um, when I started this out. Um, we're going to bring in some Let the Storm Rage on. Um, because we want some ability to board clear without actually having to challenge characters, and especially for those those evasive characters as well. So that's taking us up to 50. So we've got 10 more cards that we can bring in here. And actually, our budget, guys, our budget's looking pretty good. So we're on 23.25 minus the 15.58. So we've still got $7.67 left for 10 cards so let's go back up here let's actually put in a couple of pascals it might even go with four pascals i think i think that that could be quite good for us um hey hey we've already got three we don't really need any more of them in there um madam mim we're already maxed out on now merlin's I mean, that's that's okay for deck manipulation, I suppose. Um, we may end up taking him out. We also have Cinderella for deck manipulation as well, but that is a discard. We are going to put in a couple of Robin Hoods. We also want to make sure that we've got a good mix of... Or not a good mix, but plenty of cards that we can uh, ink here as well. We don't want to be overloaded with cards that we can't ink. But we are actually going to go up here and... Uh, and go with four, four Robin Hoods. Um, I think we go with another Madam Mim. It's going to use a lot of our budget, but I think it is worth it. So that's going to leave us with just under, just under two dollars here to play with. We've already got the Maleficence. Uh, we've maxed out Benja. Um, what else do we want here? Let's have a quick look. Smash. Yeah, I mean, Smash is okay. Um, so let's go with... We're going to put four Smashes in there, then we're going to come back and we're going to refine the deck further. So Merlin Squirrel, I'm not overly happy with. I'm also going to take out Merlin. Um, I just don't think he's adding a huge amount of value for us. And what I want to do is maximise our Merlin Goat... And I also want to put in another Merlin Rabbit, which takes us to 22.58. But we still have to take some cards out, actually. Uh, so we can still actually modify this a little bit more. Let's go with a chip. Let's get rid of a chip there. Um, we can probably get rid of a Hey Hey. Because um, he, you know, he's okay. I mean, do we need Tiana? I don't really think she's adding much. So let's take her out as well. Um, 2174. So we still have a little bit to play with. We are at 59 cards. Uh, who else could be really, really good for us? I mean, there's an argument to say we take the beast out. Because he isn't doing much. And we could even go back in. Let's take Kronk Junior Chipmunk out. And let's go with... Yeah, we can't afford another Selfless Protector. So we've we've got uh, we've got $2 to spend on four cards. What can we bring in four cards that are going to be good for us? I mean, do we... Let's add in two more friends on the other side. I think that could be. I think that could be good. Um, two more cards. Merlin Crab is okay, I suppose, like just to give us that extra boost when we need it. 
Um, Merlin Rabbit is going to be far, far too expensive for us uh, to really do anything crazy with. Let's have a look at Queen of Hearts. Whenever this character, whenever an opposing character is banished, you may ready this character. I mean, as a higher, I mean, she's only she's only luring for one, or she's only questing for one, which isn't which isn't great for us actually. Um, so we'll leave her for the moment. We want some that can can law for sort of two and three. Maybe maybe it is Kronk. Actually, yeah, do you know what? Let's go with two Kronks. Let's up the Kronks here. Takes us to 2208, giving us another dollar, another whole dollar to play with. Um, I did try this before and put Marshmallow in there, but wasn't a big, big fan. Um, let's have a look. I wouldn't mind a grab your sword. I really wouldn't mind a grab your sword. How are we looking for ink versus non-ink? So, if we were to down these here, how would that look? 2362, it does put us a little bit over. I think, I think it's just going to be that little bit too expensive for us. Um, what else have we got in here that could that could work? Um, and there's loads of cards that could work, but they obviously have to be they have to be within budget. Um, Hans is okay, I suppose, but he, again, he's costing he's costing over a dollar. Um, <clears throat> do, 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 what else have we got? What else have we got that we can go with? Um, what's the plasma bastard? It's just yeah, deal. Uh, deal one damage to the chosen character. Yeah, it's not it's not great. Um, is this is this as good as we can get it with with the budget that we've got? Oh, I'd love a sorcerer's spell book, but um. Beast's Mirror is okay. Magic Mirror is just draw a card. But again, it's it's non-inkable. And we want to try and make sure that we've got we've got inkable cards in here. Uh what other Madam Mims are there? Let's just go up here a second. Contains Madam. Play cards with four or less for free. They gain rush at the end of the turn. Banish them. They can challenge the turn they are played. Yeah, that's it's not the best. Yeah, we're not going to have enough for for this here. Um, I think this may be it, guys. I I can't see a way. I mean, my only thing is, do we? What's chipper two two? Do we just do this and add in... Oh, no, we've already got two Pascals, haven't we? We've already got two Pascals. Is there a better one cost than Chip for us? Um, Captain Hook gets... Captain Hook gets plus two while challenging. Uh, the goons are just straight stat line. They're, they're, they're pretty much identical to, to Chip. Um, they do cost less. I mean, do we go for a Simba? Nah, he's not adding. Again, it's 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 a bit of a card discard thing. Um, no, I think we stick with. I think we. Th I think we stick with the chips, and I think this is going to be it, guys. So let's let's save this deck. Um. And then let's go into our decks and we'll take a look at this here now. So this is the, the final deck that we've come up with, $22.08. So we did have over a dollar to spare. Um, and what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go through and we're going to play some games with it. So let's jump over to Pixelbomb. I'm going to export this roster and we'll play some games 
and we'll see how we get on. Okay, guys, so we're over on Pixel Bomb. Uh, let's jump into our first game uh, with our $10 Amethyst Steel deck and see if we can get ourselves a win. So we're going to be going second. We've got a couple of Maleficent, a Lawrence, friends on the other side, a Madame Mim, and another Lawrence. So what do we want to get rid of here? Right now, I think we do this. Okay, so we do have that beast, the prince combo there, but beast is probably... We're going to get rid of Merlin, and we're going to bring in Pascal. So he doesn't draw a card on his first turn. Uh, that's the disadvantage you get for going first. But I do still think overall going first is probably better. Uh, but let's wait and see how this one goes on. So he gets rid of another Jasper. 101 Dalmatians, I believe. And he plays a Flynn Rider. Whenever this character is challenged, the challenging player loses and discards, sorry, chooses and discards a card. So we don't want to be challenging him. I think we can get rid of a Madame Mim here. I think we can play a Cinderella. I think that's okay. Do we want to choose and discard? I think it's probably a beast, maybe. No, I don't think it is, because he's, he's not going to have a huge board wipe. Let's get rid of a friends on the other side. Um, we can quest with our Pascal here now because we do have Camouflage, which gives us Evasive. And um, so he can't target, target our characters. So he's just going to quest with him. So ideally, we don't want to take Flynn out using a challenge. He's gone with a Bucky, who does have Evasive. I think, oh no, it's uh, it's Ward that he has there. Whenever you play a Floodborne character, each opponent chooses and discards a card. Robin Hood could be okay for us here, I think. We are going to get rid of the Beast. I and mean, then we are just going to quest with these. Just to... I'll, I've learned in this game, guys, I want to try and quest just as often as... As, as I can. Um, we will try and use Robin Hood to take out Flynn. Uh, doing one damage each turn to him. Um, and he is a 1-3 is Robin Hood as well. So he's not susceptible to some of the board clears early doors. Okay, he's upgraded his Flynn. Now I'm glad we kept hold of Let the Storm Rage on. So we're going to get rid of a Madam Mim. He does have minus three law at the moment, but uh, but that's okay because uh, he's only going to be able to quest for one. And then what's he going to do here? Is he going to use that to take Cinderella out? Okay. Oh no, I thought he was going to play the Queen of Hearts there. So he's going to play Queen of Hearts. He's going to rush. I assume. He's going to rush. No, no, he chose not to. So right now, Flynn is doing not very much. Uh, and you can see there the whoops. So he realizes that uh, that he's kind of messed up there. She's a two, she's a two. What's she questing for? One and one. I think we let him. We're going to play an, a prince. And we are not going to ink. We can now quest safely with these. We're going to use Robin Hood to do a damage to Flynn. Just so that we can take him out with Cinderella next turn if we want to. Um... 
Each opponent chooses and discards a card. Draw a card. I think we can get rid of, of a Robin Hood. He's not inkable. I want to keep that Storm Rages on. Um, just to deal... Well, we can, we can actually take him Flynn out with that. So he's going to ink. Yeah, we're not doing very well with our inks here. I think we... I think we let... I think we play Storm Rages on. And we use... The Prince... And we take out Flynn with that one. So that gets rid of him off the board. We can then play friends on the other side just to draw us some cards. Uh, let's ink a Lawrence. And then let's play these and let's use Robin Hood to do one damage to the Queen of Hearts. If she does then attack the Prince, uh, she does get taken off the board as well. So he only does one damage, but the fact that he gets to do the damage without challenging is very, very nice. Um, it does really, really help with keeping him around for longer and doing things like this now. So he has a decision to make, whereas he could have attacked the Prince before. Um... Now he is going to uh, he is going to lose out if he does so. There is a chance for like be prepared or something here as well and be a big board wipe. Okay, so I have to discard a card now. Um, I think it's probably Pascal here to banish. Sorry, not discard. I think that's the I think that's the right choice. There's no, um, there's no real value in him right now. He's only questing for one. He can only do one damage. Um, so again, I think we play friends on the other side. We're going to sing it. We're going to get the prince to do that for us. We could play Madam Mim. But I'm not sure who we bring back. We're going to use Robin Hood to clear out the Queen of Hearts. Lady Tremaine is questing for two. Is there any value here in a Madame Mim right now? I don't think there is. So we are just going to play a Lawrence. We can then use Lawrence to take out Lady Tremaine next turn. Hopefully. Um, and then we can bring him back with a Madame Mim, so he'll be on full health. So let's just quest there. Again, we're not going to ink, which we are at a little bit of a disadvantage. We are behind on the inking side. So he's going to quest, which does mean that we can use Lawrence to take her out. Unless this is a board wipe. I think this is a fairly simple one for us. Um, I think we just get rid of Cinderella there. So yes, we will use Lawrence to take out this. Uh, we could use the Lana oh because no, she, she can't rush. So we could rush with Madame Mim. We definitely want to quest with the Prince. I think we I think we ink Benja we use the two cost Madame Mim to bring us Lawrence back and then we play Lawrence ready for next turn and we'll quest with Robin Hood I think that was the right play. I don't want to. I don't want my Madam Mim just to go one for one with her. It's a six into a three, so actually, that wouldn't have been too bad. So 
So we do have a card advantage here now as well in hand, which is always nice. He does have a scar though, which is a problem for us because he can one shot the prince and he can reset now and one shot Robin Hood, should he wish, which I imagine he is going to do, yes. Now he can't attack anybody else. But we do now have a decision to make as to who we go for. So Well, I've never seen that happen before, guys. Invalid deck, invalid deck. So we're going to use Lawrence. He's going to take out Lady Tremaine. We'll use Madame Mim to bring back Lawrence. Let's use Merlin. And then let's... That's only two damage. So we're going to bring Robin Hood in play. And we're not going to quest with Madame Mim because we don't want Scar to be able to reset himself. So the plan is for next turn to get rid of Scar. We want to do one damage with Robin Hood and then let the Storm Rage on because even if he chooses to not do anything, then we can do it. I'm not sure what this invalid deck is here. Um, or we can just play a Smash. But I actually think that's the better play. So deal one damage. We'll then have Madam Mim sing this to do three damage we get to draw a card smash is not great for us we can play lawrence we can quest with madam mim and then we can pass yeah i've never seen this before on pixelborn this invalid deck invalid deck um yeah not entirely sure what that is so queen of hearts is going to get rush she actually can't take out any of our characters. Unless she's got another Queen of Hearts in there. We do have some nice board clear. Oh, Tears and Ambition. Okay. Yeah, so he used um, Teeth and Ambitions. So does two damage to one character and then it does it back to his own. Yep, we're going to play Hey Hey here. We are going to quest. Now, I would imagine there is a be prepared in his deck. So that is what we need to watch out for. But if he plays a be prepared, it's going to cost him seven at the moment. So he still isn't going to have a card on board advantage to us. Yeah, he can play the Queen of Hearts. She can't, she can't take out a character. And this, guys is going to be our first well first game first win so there we go uh that's our first victory uh one for one so you can see even with a card that has some of these more expensive sorry even with a deck with some of these more expensive cards uh we are able to win out so let's jump in and let's play game number two okay guys going into game number two we are first this time We've got a Prince, Madam Ming, Kronk, Robin Hood, another Madam Mim, friends on the other side, and another Prince. Um, I think let's do this. So we can get rid of a Kronk, first of all. And we can start with a little chip, the teacup. Only going to be questing for one for us, but it is what it is. That's absolutely fine. Let's see what our opponent has got. Let's give him a quick greetings. There we go. 
Now, I do think our opponent made a mistake in the last turn where they didn't rush early doors with Queen of Hearts, but I still think I still think we were in a really good position with it. Um, let's get rid of a friends. Let's play a hey hey, and then let's quest just to start to get some numbers on the board. So our opponent inks and Archimedes. And then he's going to play the another version of Flynn Rider. So he's got Flynn Rider, the normal one, and then Flynn Rider, here comes the Smolder. Whenever this character is challenged, the challenging player chooses and discards a card. So we want to stay away from him if we can. I think we ink the Benger. We're going to bring in the Prince. We'll bring him like so. And let's do this and this. Puts Hey Hey back in our hand. So we can ink him next turn. Flynn Rider can't take out the Prince at the moment, so that's absolutely fine for us. He's going to get rid or ink a Mother Gothel, the green version. And then play another Flynn Rider. So the 1-3 version. I'm thinking if we just play a smash here just to get rid of him. We do quest for two there, quest for one there. I think we're going to ink the Hey Hey. We will play Merlin the Goat. We will quest. And we will quest. And I'm expecting to see one of these get upgraded to the better version of Flynn. Um, so we'll try and save our smash for that. We've also got the Madam Mim Merlin now as well. So we can quest with Merlin, bring him back, which will give us two. That will give us four and then five potentially with Chip if they all survive. He's got a similar thing there with his Merlin. So he's up to six. So he does have a slight advantage at the moment. He's going to quest with the other Flynn as well. So we do have another Madam Mim in hand. I think we can confidently quest here with all of these. Use a Madam Mim to pull Merlin back. I think this is worth it. Oh, we don't actually have... Let's get rid of a Benger. And then let's use the smash on the Merlin. Just so he's not getting as much value from it. And we know that as long as our next card is inkable, we can play the Merlin Madam Mim again. So he had a Madam Mim in hand, so he would have done exactly the same thing that I was doing. So he's got a Ray. So that is, is an evasive character. Um... He is questing for three as well. So that smash would have been very nice for Ray. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Lawrence isn't really adding a huge amount of value to us here at the moment. So we will bring in Merlin. We will bring in Madam Mim. We will pull back our Merlin. For now to give us that extra one. And then we are... Maybe we should have attacked for... Uh, no, because we would have still had to discard. So right now we're on 16. He's going to be able to do 3... Oh, 5, 6, which puts him up to 17 this turn. But he does need to board he does need to clear out so if he he needs to take out three characters or two characters 
So Mother Gothel, while this character is exerted, opposing characters can't quest. He is out of ink. I do believe, guys, this is our second win. There we go. That is two for two at the moment. So we're very, very happy about that. Um, now, even if we lose our third game, we're still in a positive win. Uh, so we'll definitely take that. So let's jump in and play game number three. Okay, guys, going into game number three, I am second again. We've got a smash, a Pascal, a Merlin. I'll let the storm rage on. Robin Hood, another Merlin, but crab version this time, and a Benger. I think we are going to... We're going to keep Merlin. Let's get rid of these. Okay, we've got some okay cards there. So we're up against a red deck. Let's get rid of Merlin. We'll ink him there. And we'll start with a Pascal. No Madam Mims in hand at the moment. We do have Lawrence, who is very, very nice indeed. We do have the Prince, which is also very, very good. And we do have Robin Hood for taking out those um, for taking out those lower, lower cost uh, units. Um, we can get rid of a print here, I think, pretty comfortably. Play a Hey Hey. And then use Pascal. We know that he has evasion, so Queen of Hearts can't take him out. She will be able to take out Hey Hey, but um, he will come back into our hand and we can either ink him or play him again, just getting us some more value from that because it will take out her card. Um, we'll have got the law with it. And we will have been able to then ink him. So huge value from a from a two cost there. So Felicia, she does have Reckless. And Dr. Facilia does have Reckless as well. Sorry, not Reckless. Uh, uh, oh no, he's just Reckless. Okay. So. I mean, we, do we... I think we quest with both. Probably get will ink a smash. And then I think we play a Maleficent for the draw. Just to give us an extra card. And we do have a Madam Mim there now as well. So the only card that he can challenge is Hey Hey. Fel hey Hey won't quite take Felicia out. Oh, we did just get rid of that smash, which is a little bit annoying. Hey, hey, is back in hand though. So we can. Maybe we even. Friends on the other side with Maleficent. Then we'll use Madame Mim to bring Maleficent back. So she'll have drawn us. Oh, three cards in total. Plus we'll be able to bring back for another one. So yeah, I think we play friends on the other side. We'll get Maleficent to do this. Oh, now we've got a decision to make because we can just take out Shia Khan, but that would leave us very vulnerable. One, one, and one. I think we ink the Hey Hey. I think we do use a Madam Mim to bring Maleficent back. And then we'll play a Robin Hood. I'm already not liking how this one is going, but we do have some tech in hand to get rid of some of the um, the bigger cards. So he has got a Merlin, so he, he does have the draw there now as well. Yeah, he's going to get quite high up here. Chooses not to go with Shia Khan. So I think we definitely want to take out his Shia Khan. We can then use Madam Mim to take out Dr. Facilia. I think we just play the Smash. 
and get rid of Shere Khan. We don't want him having that draw every single time. Uh, we've had good value from Maleficent, so we could ink her. Madame Mim can take out Dr. Facilia quite comfortably. I think we can ink one of these friends. And then I think... I think we leave Robin Hood where he is for the moment. And we'll use him more once we bring in the prince next turn. I think is the best option for that. I think it's good just to keep characters on the board at the moment. So he's inked to Merlin. Or the Merlin Squirrel. He's brought in a Maui, who does obviously have Rush, so he's going to be able to take out uh, our Madame Mim, but that's fine. He is getting a little bit ahead of us now on questing, and we don't have really any sort of board clear here, which is going to be a little bit of a problem for us, I think. We do draw a Pascal, which actually may be okay for us. I think we can play a Merlin. I think we get rid of a lot. I think we ink a Lawrence. We're then going to play a Pascal. And then once again, we're going to elect to not do anything with Robin Hood and just keep him there. On the board so he can't challenge any of my characters right now but he is able to quest for another two this turn so he brings in another merlin for the draw and then does quest with queen of hearts and does quest with merlin um i think here we bring in the prince and bring him in exerted so he is protecting our cards friends on the other side could be played by merlin and it could give us a nice draw we ideally want to take out a couple of these maybe we use robin hood to do one damage to maui and then if he does challenge the prince it does mean that yeah, I think we do that, because that will take Maui out. I think our Merlin takes out Queen of Hearts. Let's just pay for friends on the other side. Let's get, let's ink Pascal. And then let's just quest with Pascal there. So he's bringing in a Madame Mim. Oh, puts back in hand. So we can bring that Mario back out. Not this turn, fortunately, but at least we know that that is in hand. We do have like the Storm Rage on, which can be sung by Merlin. We've already got reasonable value from him. So yeah, these are all on two HP now. Let's have Merlin sing for us. I mean, the obvious choice here is... Do you really want to give him a card draw? So he could take any of them out. What's better here? I mean, it is a four. We do have a Maui coming back anyway. Let me get rid of a Merlin. So he'll obviously get to draw a card from that. 
we do have Beast. I think for this turn we play another Merlin. We'll play a Maleficent. We will obviously choose to draw the card. We will then elect to ink Lawrence and then we will pass. So we know he's got a Maui in hand. He can take out one of our Merlins, but that will give us another law. Lady Tremaine, when this when you play this character, each opponent with more law than you loses one law. So nothing really there. He's gonna ink the Maui. And then play another Lady Tremaine. So I have to discard one of my cards now. I think... I think we go with Pascal. He's the least valuable to us. Although we would have got another law from Merlin. I do think he's the most valuable for us. Because, yeah, one for one. We're going to get a law. He's going to gain a card. Benja isn't really doing anything. Let's start with friends on the other side. We're going to get Maleficent to sing this. We will ink Benja. We'll play the Prince. And then we'll play Beast. And then we will quest with Merlin. So he's going to be taking the damage for the prince. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he still resists by one. So if Madame Mim attacks, for example, it'll get reduced by one, but it'll be three damage that goes on to Beast. I think that is the way that it works. Okay, so he pulls Lady Tremaine back. Plays Lady Tremaine again. Oh, so it doesn't reduce. That's a little bit annoying. That is indeed a little bit annoying. We'll play Maleficent first and draw the cards, see what we get. Yeah, I think we can play Kronk here. Do we want to board clear or do we want to take some characters? Or do we want a quest or do we want to board clear? I think. I think we just do full questing. That is only losing one law. So Merlin goes in the ink. Yeah, that's really... I'm, I'm surprised by that. I really am surprised by that. I would have thought that the resist would have happened as well. So that's a little bit annoying that that doesn't work. That doesn't work in that way. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna clear up my board now. So no reason to not do anything but this. <clears throat> now do we just board clear here? So I think Kronk takes out that. Then I can do two damage here. Then we quest with Maleficent. Pass it back over. And now we're in a position where our opponent 
need to have some rush characters or some board clear. And there we go. There we go, guys. That is three for three. Um, and yeah, I I I think for for the nine dollars and something that we spent on that deck to be able to play three games and win three games, I think we've done really, really well with that. Um, guys, I'll leave a link down in the description below to the deck itself, so you can take that and you can play around with it yourself as well. Um, we're also going to be following this up with a twenty-five dollar. Um, deck and a $50 deck as well. So we're going to increase the amount that we can spend. Uh, we're going to be doing that for both of the core boxes. Uh, but guys, I did say at the beginning of the video that we had a giveaway running and we are giving away this beast playmat. Uh, so if you want to be with a chance to win this playmat, you need to do three things for me. First of all, you need to make sure that you've subscribed. You need to make sure that you've liked the video and you need to leave a comment, but the comment needs to be an answer to this question. So the question is, for this deck, which of the cards would you have swapped out? Which would you have not taken? What hints, tips, and tricks have you got <clears throat> to make this deck better? So let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and then what I'll be doing sometime before Christmas. So over the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll be doing a we'll be picking a random video from one of our Lorcana videos, and then we'll be picking a random comment from each of those videos as well. But you do need to make sure that you answer that question. So make sure that you do that. Um, guys, I want to give a big shout out to all of our Patreons who support us and help us make these videos. Um, if you want to support us on Patreon, you can do so from as little as a pound a month. There'll be a link down in the description below. And also, go check out our Discord. Uh, we, don't we don't just cover Lorcana on there, we cover a whole bunch of other games as well, uh, but plenty of Lorcana players on there. And keep an eye out, guys, because we do have a special announcement for an event that we're going to be running over the next couple of weeks as well. Um, and as always, guys, it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well, keep safe, and until next time, bye for now. <laughs>